Hi guys and welcome to What If Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to push objects around like this. And in the next tutorial I'll show you how to animate the position and rotation of a fuse when it gets plugged in, like this for instance. So let's get started. What If Tutorials Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I've added a cube over here. If I play the game now, it's just going to stand there in the air. It's not going to do anything. You see, it's just doing nothing. So I'm going to add a rigid body to this cube by going co add component rigid body. And when you look over here, it's going to use the gravity and the rest of the things I just leave it, leave it as it is because you're not really going to need it. So if I play the game now, then that thing falls. So it applies to gravity now. So I'm going to add a script in my scripts folder over here. Right click create C sharp script and I'm going to call it push, uh, push cube. I'm going to open it up in um, Mono Develop. So the function we're going to use to collide uh, with the character is the following. I'm going to make a new function void on controller collider hit. It's a very long word and it's going to receive a hit. Uh, a controller collider hit I'm just gonna call it hit now inside of this um, you have to first test if it has a rigid body if it doesn't have a rigid body then you shouldn't push it so I'm gonna say rigid body body uh, is hit dot collider dot attached rigid body that's how you get the rigid body from it and now I'm gonna say if the body is null or if it's not a kinematic uh, if the body is kinematic which is if you look on the right um, it's not a kinematic so that's that's what what you're testing at the moment if it's a kinematic then it should just return so it should do nothing if it dot move direction dot y in the y axis is minus 0 0.3 then it should also just return uh, by doing nothing the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some strength uh, basically strength variables so I'm gonna say float I'm gonna make this a public float push strength and a speed up strength the reason I'm adding these is these variables are gonna decide if you're uh, it's gonna decide the strength basically I'm gonna make it 6.0 F and I'm gonna make this 10.0 F now to decide on the strength I'm just gonna add uh, another variable over here which is going to um, access a script in my uh, in my character if you see over here it's got a third person controller if you added the third person controller to your character then you can get the speed from that and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna say private um, third person controller and I'm just gonna call it TPC now I'm just I'm gonna initialize this in the start function TPC equals game object dot get component and this is how you do it in C sharp third person controller 
So now you have a reference to the third person controller and you're going to use that to get these um, these values. So in the on on wow well, that's difficult to pronounce on controller collider hit you're going to add the following push strength equals tpc dot get speed now don't worry if this is red it should still work because now you're making a reference to a javascript file if you made a reference to a c sharp file this will not be red but it will still work so you don't have to worry about that and the other thing i'm going to say is speed up strength equals tpc dot get speed as well okay it just occurred to me that you don't need the speed up strength at all because you're getting the speed from the from the character so it's not needed to have that uh, if you've got the push strength then that's all you need and now I'm gonna make a new um, variable a vector 3 if you don't know what the vector 3 is a vector 3 contains an X Y and a Z so it's like a position in the 3d world so I'm gonna say direction is vector 3 and I'm gonna say hit dot move direction dot x comma zero comma hit dot move direction dot z because um, you don't want to push it upward you you can't push a cube upward uh, you, you can only push it forward or backward or something that's why the y is set to zero so now when you have this you can say body dot velocity equals direction um, times speed okay not speed up uh, it's push strength and there you have it this is pretty much the coding that you need just to recap you have to have a reference to your third person controller and inside of the third person controller you're gonna have a function that says uh, get speed and so the first thing is in this function it will return if it's not a kinematic and if the body if it actually has a rigid body then it will go past this then you get your push strength and then you get your direction and then you do the body so now if I play the game I have errors okay it seems like um, I had a problem, uh, there was an error, so I'm just going to say new, that's the, that's, that's all I have to do. So now it's going to work, you see, you can move the cube as much as you want, <laughs> um, but you would see now that it's a bit jittery and you don't want that when, when you push the cube, so I'm going to do something else now, I'm going to go onto the cube and in the rigid body it's got a thing called interpolate and I'm just gonna make make it interpolate and not none so if you do that it should be a bit smoother yeah it looks better so the next tutorial that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to plug these fuses in there and basically you're going to learn how to animate the position and the rotation of the object so thank you for watching um, please if you've got time please play this game it's a very fun game and we're currently competing in the microsoft imagine cup so if you can even give us a like to support us we would appreciate that have a nice day what if tutorials